Hey guys, welcome back to another Final Cut Pro X tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make the That's So Raven vision effect. So first off, you're going to need three clips. One, where they're just doing something, they turn around and you slowly walk around them. It's okay that he smiled, I'll cut that out. And then this one where it's just a blank face. And then the vision that they're cutting to. Like I've got that one. Which this is from a Solstinator video, which I'll link in the description to his channel, which you should totally check out. Not self-promotion or anything. So let's start with the tutorial. You take your clip, which I've got here, and you place it, square it up, and we're going to need to start markering it. So we want the effect to start taking place here, where it hasn't moved because it starts moving after that, which you can see it's sloppy, but I did it extremely slow and I filmed it on 60 frames per second, which is going to help a lot in the stabilization, which I'm going to use. So then we're going to go out here to about where it ends, not totally where it ends, but really close to it. And then you can see he starts smiling, so I'm going to go one frame back where he's not smiling. Put a marker. I'm putting the markers by pressing the M key, by the way. Then I press R for the range tool. I select that area and I choose fast four times. So that's going 400% as fast. Then I select the rest of this and go slow 50%. So that's slowed down. So then it looks like speed and then slow. So I'm going to go over here and pick stabilization and bump it up to three. Now, it hasn't really had much time to stabilize, but as you can tell, it's already better. It zooms in on a little bit, so be sure to film wide. So, after, four, after, four, after. Got your point? Good. So then I'm going to hit Control, and then pick New Compound Clip. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Raven Clip. I'm going to pick Option and select it and bring it up. That duplicates it. Then I'm going to go about here where the where it starts. I'm going to pick draw mask and I'm just going to draw my mask. You're going to want to do it a little bit more detailed but for the sake of the tutorial I'm just going in fast. So I'm going to fast forward this so you don't have to sit through me. Alright so after you have your mask you're going to want to move about and edit the mask almost every single frame. Which is very tedious, but that's what you got to do until, you know, right about here where it stops. Um, I'm going to do that and be right back so you don't have to sit through me doing that. Alright, so as you can see, I've edited the mask. And it's a rough mask, but I had to do it again for the tutorial, so I'm not going to spend as much time on it. You don't have to be perfect, just rough. And my feathering, you're going to want to bump that up just a tad bit. They won't even notice. So you want to go over here and go to Blur, Directional, and then add it on top. So I'm going to jump over here to, yeah, probably about this frame, pick zero, then I'm going to go to where I want the effect to stop, which I want it to stop in time because we're going to have to zoom into the eye, so just about there, then where was my other one, so just about in the middle I'm going to bump that up majorly, yeah we want a lot, and then, so in between it, you want to ramp it up just a bit. You don't want it to seem like it's going up just a tad bit. You want it to look like you did it, and not the computer. So, and then some frames for four. You definitely don't want it this high when it's ending because then it'll look weird. I'm going to bump that one down. And it'll look boom. Which is much better. 
So after that, you want to take this and control click new compound clip and whatever you want it to be called. Now this is where it gets pretty interesting. You're going to go to custom. You're going to go to generators, go down to solids, pick custom. You're going to control click new compound clip and you want to name this whatever you want like portal or something. I don't know. You want to click into it. This is where you get to edit the cool vision effect. So we're going to go over here to, well, I want to change the color first. So red, I'm going to change it to red, which I've already got a nice red saved. We're going to go down to masks, shape mask. You want to definitely make this one circular. Bring that in. And actually, I think that one's perfect. I think that one looks great. I'm going to add another shape mask. You want to invert the first shape mask, by the way. And you want to take this one. You want to. And then and you want to make it close, but not too close. Then you want to bump this up to, I don't know, like 300. Oh, perfect. You want this to last about 40 frames. I'm going to click this change the scale to 10 the first clip go to 40 one up go to let's get 279 percent you want to duplicate it to where you have eight of them so i've got three seven, and you want to change the cup Gonna go one, two frames out, move that one over, one, two. So every single one of these are gonna be two frames apart. And the last one. All right, so, so far you have is that. Then you wanna click this, control, new compound clip. Then this can be portal two. You want to go into it. You want to go about where this one is like two frames out. So this one starts one, two. You want to click this and option it. I'll duplicate this five times and then we'll be back. All right, so I've duplicated it five times, and since there's nothing for this to pop up on, it goes down there, that's okay. And it's got this really long pattern. I can't really play it because none of it has rendered yet. Zoom in, at the edge, extend it out. So then we're gonna go back to this, and we're gonna go about here, where he starts zooming in, 558. We're gonna go over here, pick blur, focus, put it on, I'm going to drop this down to zero, keyframe everything, I'm going to go to the next frame, we're going to bump this up to probably 50, alright, yeah, and then you want to bump this down to like 30 something, I think 580 is good too, then I want to add a little bit of sharpness, I'm going to add 10, or focus hits, keyframe the zero on the focus right before all of that, Gonna add keyframe to everything on the transform. I'm going to go to pretty close to it. We're gonna go about 503, and we're gonna go to Y 320, scale 271. All right, negative 320. Yeah, that's it. My bad. You're gonna go to like the end, and you're gonna bump it up even more. Let's go almost triple that like four let's go 480 let's go negative can't forget the negative like 19 no 920 bump this up to 800 perfect i'm gonna go back to like 617 place the portal right where it's close to the eye if yours doesn't line up then you can obviously do some extra editing that's just how mine lined up Focus, place, focus to be 
pretty high, 75. This is distorting the warp effect. And the emphasis to be about 50, that's good. And this needs to be lower. 18, this can be about 17. And this looks good, but I want to square it up at 580. All right, so the next thing you want to do is right here where the eye effect ends, I'm going to click it. I want to go over to this and pick hold. So you're holding that frame. Nothing else really matters there. Just going to go about halfway. It doesn't matter where it ends. Then we're going to go about there. I'm going to pick generators, custom. This one needs to stay black. And that, that way you never see any of the eye again. You want to go right about here where the last one of these open. You want to add a marker so that you don't lose it. You want to click whatever clip it is that you have. I've got this one. I don't want to use any of these clips though. I want to use the one after this. So right there, I want to use that. Boom, boom, cut. Then, I'm going to zoom in just a tad bit. And you want to line up the markers. Press P for position, then line it up. So after you've got your clip, you've got to decide where you want it to end. Which I'm going to have mine end right there after the gunshot. Then you want to have to add, you're gonna to have to add some effects to make it realistic. You want to find romantic. You want to place that on. You want to find trails. Yep. Prism. Prism. Those are the three effects you want to add on. So let's look at these. And you want romantic at 100. You want trails at like this needs to be low 0.05 and echoes more like three and prism you want that kind of low too you want this one at seven unless you want a different effect but this is what mine looks like you've got a different looking clip now find where your clip ends Mine's gonna end like right there. You want to take this that you've made, place it on top, pick reverse clip. Now it goes back out. You want to find your last clip that you made, which is this one, maybe right about there. So, right when this starts ending, you want to place this one. Ring. You want to take this. You want to bump up the scale a bunch. About two, three, one. Then you want to move this over. Right. Then move this down some. Bump up the scale a little bit. Move this over 75. 75. Good. You want to keyframe all of it. And then at this frame, right about here, you want to zero everything out except the scale. You want to make that 100. That's the effect. The last thing you want to do is add some sound, which I've got some. Great sound effects from the Trying Store. If you guys don't have it, you should totally check it out. We're gonna cut this off, delete that. You want to slow this down to about 25% so it sounds. We're gonna go to the 
frame that it starts moving. Right about there. Press this here. Go to the frame that it starts zooming in. Right there. Add another one of these. And don't forget to fade this audio in. That's probably good. And add the last right about here. And perfect. Now, when you watch it over, it looks like this. And that's how you make the That's So Raven vision effect. If you like the tutorial, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm open to any requests. Also, thanks to Will Sauls for being in this video. I'll link him in the description. He's got awesome videos like how to deal with hate and very inspirational videos. So, thank you for watching.